Hi, Genki Call here with Invasion for the week of April 8th, 2024. Um, want to point out right away that Gothite, I looked up how to pronounce it, Gothite, has double magic and earns twice the score for this event. You're going to need to take Gothite with you. He is only available in the shop, but if you want to finish off all of the reward tiers, you're going to need it. Evenly divided across 30 members, you're going to need to complete 583 towers each in order to close out this event. Yes, 583. I was just double checking. 583 is quite a lot, especially if you're only getting half of the total but per fight. So be sure that you take Gothite with you. Uh, available at da -da 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 shop tier 2. Tier 2? Yes, Tier 2 is where you can get your first copy of Gothite. He also gets the double magic, so that makes him hit nice and hard. Um, and if you buy Tier 3, you'll also get the Crag Smasher, which is not a great weapon in my opinion, but it is another weapon to make sure that you don't get weapon blocked here in Hellcrag. And I must have all the things, so of course I had to get it. All right, teams for you people. First of all, a team for people with no... Um, with no legendaries at all, this team consists of three Siege Breakers. We have three Siege Breakers available to us. Of course, you need to bring Gothite um, for that three to five times skull damage uh, and the three to five times spell damage. Um, plus he gives a little armor to all allies. Then we've got the Blackfire Cannon that's going to do damage to an enemy and a chance to do damage to another random enemy. Again, with the three to five times damage. And then lastly, we have the Bone Catapult, which will do damage to an enemy boosted by skulls. That part doesn't matter. It's a Siege Breaker. It's going to do extra damage. But, you know, this team is going to be a little slow starting out. So... Um, I am going to show you an alternative, not in the description below, but of course we've got the Mountain Crusher because all of you will have this available to you. Mountain Crusher you get just by getting your brown mana mastery up, and if you're in a guild at this point, then you should have it. Um, by the time you get in the guild, you'll already have unlocked enough to do this. But as you can see, really, really slow starting out. You're going to need to have this extra power later on, but right now we're not even fighting any towers. Um, so for the early levels, grab something that can do damage to all enemies. If you've got something in here, you type in all enemies, and you can use black manacles. Black manacles is something everyone should have, and of course that's going to mana block bone catapult but this is just for the early levels just to get things done quickly you want to get mana and get things done as quick well i want to get mana and get things finished as quickly as possible now just a note that there is a chance to devour with this weapon but the thing is that it can't devour it cannot devour towers. You can't do any status effects to towers. You can't curse them. You can't um, stun them. You cannot do anything at all to the towers. You have to actually just straight up kill them um, on your own power because, um, yeah, that's just um, the way that the towers are created. Just like with the raid boss, the same thing. You can't do anything to the raid boss any kind of status effect at all. So I'm going to get a few of these, um, a few of these fights finished, and then I'll come back and show you some more teams. So I'll be back in two minutes and two seconds. No, I'll be back in a moment. Hold on. All right, coming back to you. I wanted to get up to here, you know, just to show you the higher level stuff, but I don't want to delay this video any longer than it's already been delayed. So the next team that I'm using is just. You can see there's a lot of mana blocking going on here, but we have enchant because, of course, I've bought multiple tiers in the shop. Uh, we have the explode, so it's going to help a lot, plus the obsidian Librum self-enchant. So once you cast it once, it's going to enchant itself. You're going to have lots of mana from exploding the whole board uh, if you get that far. But this is just for fast early levels. You'll see obsidian axis does damage to all enemies and uh, the dragonstone guardian. Is that what it's called? 
Dragonstone Guardian also does damage to all enemies. And so we're, you can kind of zip through those early levels very quickly. So we're just going to cast this. Meow. We'll cast this. Meow. And we're done. Yeah. And of course, we've got Gothite with us. The Gothite, whatever his... Yeah, Gothite is with us because we want to get that extra score on the towers. Uh, anyway, let me grab the next team. I think I already have it ready. This team is from Lester. Lester, Lester. We've got Wand of Stars, the Empress, Gothite, and Obsidiaxis. Of course, uh, the Empress is going to give extra everything to the last slot, which is Obsidiaxis, who is going to just destroy everything with that AoE damage, you know, unless they get submerged somehow but the towers can't submerge so um dun, 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 a chance for an extra gem on the board he is using geomancer wand of stars of course is very very powerful um as far as mana gen goes so this should be a good team i haven't checked it out but lester makes really good teams so i am not worried about it i know this is going to be good so right now 64 damage to all enemies we're going to cast this and now it's 124 damage to all enemies. And I can keep, I could keep casting that Wand of Stars. We cast this. If there's a ton of yellow and purple on the board, you want to cast this. But we're just going to do this. And we've got lots of mana. We'll do this. 124 damage to all enemies. Nice and fast. Nicely done, Je uh, Jester. Jester Lester. <laughs> he is a Jester. All right, next up we have a team from my teammate Vlad. And I haven't tested any of these except for the ones I made my, well, actually, the ones I showed you so far were tested. Uh, 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 but we have Gothite with the glowing core that's going to explode, a bunch of brown gems, random status effect to all construct allies. That's everything on our team. If we're using Geomancer class, that includes the hero, and then summon a construct troop very good choice for this team blackfire cannon as we spoke about this is a siege breaker it doesn't get double magic like gothite does but it's still a siege breaker to do that extra three to five times damage to the towers and finally chalcedony who is you know completely mana blocked but she creates a bunch of brown well hopefully enough brown gems to to loop even though she's been nerfed but she'll create some extra brown gems you'll at least get some more mana for gothite so uh we'll take this in while i grab the next code da, 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 da. all right oh it left my match for for me how nice thank you also gothite at the front is very good because for one thing it has skull damage reduction by 50 percent but once you get to all towers he's going to do that three to five times skull damage versus towers depending on the, your extensions oh ascension i don't even have this thing maxed out oh my goodness i didn't use an, an orb of ascension on it i forgot i forgot i'm going to go ahead and cast this because uh, i don't want that thing getting away but let's see how chalcedony does Let's see. Will she loop? The answer is nope. <laughs> That's okay. She does create a bunch of brown on the board, so that can be helpful. All right, I have a, one more team from a uh, <laughs> one more team from a teammate, and that is from Kimber. Now, Kimber is this is for obviously for the the higher levels i don't have two gothite at the moment i will probably buy another tier and get one but death spire is uh damage to all enemies boosted by enemy towers this is specifically made for boost, uh, fighting towers then we've got gothite the two gothite the blackfire cannon the problem with this team is that there is no mana generation but i think she's counting on just killing everything <laughs> quickly with this team um i don't know how long this will last without mana gen on it but it it's a good team kimber also makes very good teams so lastly i have a, te a team here and i'm going to show it three times because i'm going to show you this team with three different weapons so this is my one team with legendaries and we're going to be using Gothite at the front, 50% skull damage reduction, extra damage to those towers with skulls. Lord of Slaughter is going to create a 
bunch of doom skulls. We've got Sharon Abog that's going to blow up the whole thing and has a dust storm. So lots and lots of brown gems to turn into doom skulls. And Trickster Shot. Now this is for the high levels. Trickster Shot is absolutely amazing. I hope that you have this or that if you don't, you grab this next time we go to Bright Forest because it is an amazing weapon. Eliminate all armor from an enemy. Deal damage. Gain two magic boosted by the armor eliminated this thing will hit so hard at the high levels it scales with the enemy it's just fantastic and hold on just a second let me do this before you know i want to do as much damage as possible so i absolutely want to get this guy up to max level so there we go get him up to mythic so we can get that five times damage with him perfect all right so first weapon trickster shot amazing amazing and it's not going to be amazing at this low level because you're not stripping off much armor but the thing is it's completely mana blocked down here oh no but it has self enchant so it doesn't matter it will enchant itself uh as far as mana gen goes we've got obsidian libram so right now what i want to do is get some mana for the um this so that I can show it show you what it does so the one that has the most armor it only has 50 armor but let me show you what it's so just past the turn what it's going to do so we're going to go from 68 damage with this just stripping off 50 armor it goes from 68 to 89 damage can you imagine taking off 200 armor oh it's so good all right let's cast this because I love doom skulls ah oh, boom <laughs> Boom! Kill all the things! Yes! Alright, but for earlier levels, if you want to have the backup of having something that summons, you can go in here, you can find something that summons. This way, you can choose anything you want, just be aware that some of them create storms. For instance, the Arboreal Crystal is going to create a Leaf Storm green mana I don't really need it that much this one self enchants the cobaltine wand would be a good option it explodes red gems or you can use the obsidian libram once again because it's self enchants it doesn't matter that it's mana blocked by sharon Abog. there's a little bit of overkill but it's plenty of mana for your team the point is that you will have something to summon in case gothite dies and in case lord of slaughter <laughs> gets those skulls backfiring on him he does do true damage with skulls unless he gets stunned but anyway i'm not going to go ahead, i'm not going to show that i think i explained it pretty well the last thing i wanted to show you is the stone staff this is a weapon i've never seen anybody use it's low rarity and the stone staff is going to do double damage if there is a dust storm well guess what sharon abog summons a dust storm at the start of every single turn so this is always going to do double damage and 142 damage is pretty significant so we're going to go in and you can do this it's up to you how you want to do it but um you know sharnabog will take that purple uh yep let's let's just put it in like this this is how i have it in the description so uh 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 does this self enchant this does self enchant as well that's why i have it at the back because it will self enchant so once again we've got that self enchant and i really want to cast that right now but i also want to show um how much damage this is going to do oh because there's a dust storm all right we'll do this we'll go ahead and cast this 142 damage we'll do this because i love blowing things up yeah <laughs> And that's it. Oh, I may use this team for a while. Ooh, I love it. All right. Anyway, that's what I've got for you. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I'd love to hear your teams, what your favorites are in the the sorry in the comments down below. Let me know how you're feeling about the event. Have a wonderful day or night wherever you may be, and we'll see you soon. Bye bye.